Before we start, uh, what server do you guys play on? <laughs> we play on Bonechur. Oh, oh Bonechur Alliance, you guys are brave. <laughs> horde, horde heavy server. Okay, sorry, let's start. <laughs> we'll, we'll bond later, we'll bond later. Join Convert to Raid. Okay. Oh, oh, there, there we, we go. go. Yeah. I panicked. <laughs> We're here at the Indie Arena of ESGS 2016, and joining us are the developers of Spell Strike. Guys, what's up? Can you please introduce yourselves? Hi, um, my name is Mars. I'm the um, producer of the project. I'm Coco. I'm the designer and creative director. All right, great. And in the other Hi seat guys. over there is my co-host, Harold Silvestre. What's up, Harold? Hello there, folks right. at home. <laughs> All right, so guys, uh, why, don't you why don't you tell us a little bit about yourselves as developers and as uh, gamers? What you guys got? Um, you want to go first? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't be shy. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm a developer, a game developer. I've been in the industry for uh, 13 years, or okay. 30 years now. I've been producing games for mobile, um, web. Um, this is actually the first game that I'm coming. I mean, I'm developing for Steam. So, oh, okay. Yeah, it's a big game. Uh, we've been working on it for more than a year. Uh, a lot has gone through this game. Um, there's a lot of lore and content heavy in it. Um, a lot of um, design that uh, went into it. So I think, yeah, Coco will tell you all about it later. All right, that's great. So. Uh, you mentioned Steam, so it's going to be a PC game. Uh, is, are you looking at any other platforms aside from PC? Um, right now it's uh, PC and Mac. Uh, mm -hmm. We're still kind of like deciding if we're going to go to iPad or iOS. Mm -hmm. or you're still deciding if you want the, the stresses and the headaches yeah, of recording yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> right now we just want to finish it first for PC. For oh, one, I def one, I one step at a time. That's right, that's right. All right, let's get into it. Let's, uh, let's show the fine folks at home. Uh, what spell strikes all about? Oh, you take this one. <laughs> <laughs> so spell strike is uh, a game, a squad-based game where um, you create a team of three people, three characters, okay. and you try to customize their skills. Uh, we have different heroes. We have different uh, support characters, and. Um, it's basically like a deck building game, except uh, instead of a deck, you have a uh, you have characters, you have to customize your skills, your their composition. So they have a lot of different um, things that go through uh, decision making. Like okay. you can actually choose um, if you want to be magic heavy or damage heavy, okay. or if you want to uh, play a supporting or a tank role. So right here we're in um, we're something a main menu screen. Okay. Um, you can actually try to go through the skills and you design this to like feel like you're trying to uh, decide if you want to do um, support or if you want to do like uh, a caster type of, uh, of, of a team. Later on there will be five different races and five different schools of magic. Okay. So you can equip skills based on the race and the and the school of magic. Oh, that's oh, cool. Okay, okay. Yeah, one thing I wanted to point out here is that uh, this is a, a very early build. Okay. Uh, the game is really quite in a state where we're, we're still actually continuously developing it. Actually, we're here in this event to get feedback from people. Okay. Uh, we're having a lot of uh, players test the game. Yeah. Uh, we want to get, like, how does it feel? We want to get, um, uh, we want to get the feedback to be able to change the experience and make it catered more to our target market. That's right, that's right. So if you guys want to check out Spell Strike, head on over to Indie Arena here at the SMX Convention Center at Mall of Asia to play some Spell Strike and give these guys some great feedback. They'd appreciate it. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's check it out. So this is the starting sequence. We wanted it to feel like it was like a, a fighting game where um, uh, each character would have their own introduction sequence. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's mainly a strategy game. A lot of players were actually confused. Like um, they didn't know how to treat it. But, like it's a mix of a strategy game and a fighting game uh -huh. and a deck building game. So yeah, there's yeah. a lot going on. So 
uh, we're trying to build up on the tutorial. That's why we're 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 here getting feedback on what works, what would uh, what actually looks cool, what people want, need to learn more about yeah. as a, as a, that aren't that intuitive when you're uh, with yeah, the UI. Exactly. Okay, that's great. Exactly. So the gameplay is like um, you choose a strategy for your team for your squad. So for this uh, map, um, there are like certain options like you can attack head on, you can keep a safe distance or you can stand your ground. Okay. Um, aside from that, you can actually choose the targets. You can choose to activate skills later on. So are the reactions of, of the characters to, to physical combat and to, to hits and damage, like, are, they, are they specific to like how they get hit? Yeah, um, the characters, the design itself is very stat heavy. So um, it's like playing a D&D character where uh, there's like a, a chance to dodge or a chance to parry or a chance to block. And then the combat mechanics itself, actually, they're, they're also pretty much random. Yeah. But um, a lot of it's also skill based. So uh, we haven't revealed the, the stats and the, the formula for for everything that's going on yet. Yeah, because you're still tweaking, you're still balancing. Yeah, we're still tweaking, so there's no we're still point balancing. Doing, yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, what's confusing to some is that um, it's, it looks like uh, it's an ongoing real-time game, but it's yeah. actually a turn-based game. Yeah. And um, we're trying to, to show that um, for each turn, you can actually choose your skills, uh, what you want to do, what uh, what your opponents are going to do, and yeah, just make it feel like a, uh, an ongoing turn, turn-based game. Yeah. It's, it's pretty similar to uh, the active time battle uh, yeah. in the Final yeah. Fantasy series. Yeah. I mean, it looks great. Uh, a little more, uh, a little more refined, and it, it it won't be so bad that uh, what you're saying won't feel so bad. That it, it looks different. It doesn't feel like. Uh, I mean, it's a great uniqueness to it. Uh, the the fact that it feels like they should be moving right now and, and like attacking each other constantly. That, that's, that's a different feel that I don't get in, in a lot of games. Uh, I've played a similar game. Uh, on, on, on iOS uh, that was Star Wars themed yeah. and uh, it was boring it was static uh, they were all just in one row I love the fact that they're moving here I love the fact that they're they're actually moving around the the, the, the battle area and it's it, 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 it's different I think one of your heroes died <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna play around is, the is that why it says dead Diego <laughs> <laughs> I, nah. couldn't, I couldn't tell no no but yeah I, are you okay? Like, uh, <laughs> do, you, do you want to focus first while I talk no, to Coco? Okay. Like, uh, right now we have one arena. Okay. But this is just a zone, and we're planning to expand the map and later on have different objectives. Oh, so okay. It'll feel like a World of Warcraft battleground. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Don't look at me like that and say World of Warcraft. <laughs> Minus the reactive, like the clicking of the, the skills. The real time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I think one of the design goals that we wanted to have here was that uh, we wanted to have the gameplay of battlegrounds or arenas or uh, raids or dungeons. That's right. like, uh, there's a lot of meta going on in that, a lot of st strategy making. Yeah. Uh, but we wanted to abstract that in such a way that um, players would just focus on the strategy, like um, you got, you get a flag or you defend this area or yeah. um, I'll recapture the flag instead of. Always having to click uh, the movement, but like, uh, okay, I'm gonna click here, click, 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 click. Yeah. Uh, we, we really just wanted to follow the strategy. Yeah. At the same time, make it feel like it's more action heavy. So, how long have you guys been working on uh, on Spell Spec? Um, we've been on the project for more than a year, but uh, I think for the majority of that, it was mostly pre-production. Okay. So aside from um, aside from creating the content and from the game, uh, I mean, creating the game design, we were also. Uh, pretty much involved in a lot of um, lore writing and uh, uh, creating the world, creating the characters, uh, defining the races, what makes each uh, race different, each magic class different. Yeah. Uh, okay. You know. I, I assume art is also part of that. concept art and. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I, I assume that does take up a lot of your, your pre production time. But uh, in terms of, in terms of uh, when you actually got to put things together, uh, how long has it been? Because. Uh, it, it feels early on, but the way you talk about it, I feel like there's so much potential for this. Yeah, there is so much. I think um, what we, we failed to mention earlier was that this game has already been on Steam Greenlight. It's been greenlit by the community. We've been through Square Enix um, Collective. Uh -huh. Square Enix Collective. So we also got um, gone through that. Uh, we got a lot of positive feedback. 
a lot of people are saying that the game idea is unique. Um, we've been actually trying to develop prototype after prototype. Oh, so we've okay. been, I mean, the, the, pro, the first prototype we had was actually early January. Um, when it when we got to a state where we wanted other people to try it, we got a lot of feedback again. And then going through green light, we got a lot of feedback again. So we, we keep, keep um, try, we keep trying to tune our game yeah. depending on, on what the market wants. That's great. Yeah. I just want to ask, like, um, I've noticed that it's a, a, a battleground setting. Um, are you guys gonna make it a, make it in, in such a way that at some point, some skills, some attacks, um, you have to be like across the whole map just to be able to execute something? Yeah. Could you like ex explain a bit more, like, what what kind, what we expect for that, what what uh, what to expect in the future? Um, later on, the strategies will be more location based. Mm -hmm. So like you can stun people and run away and run across the map. Oh, okay. A little bit of kiting. Kiting, yeah, yeah. we got <laughs> some kiting. So if the map's bigger, like this is just one zone. So if we develop the other zones, you'll feel more of the strategy. Yeah. Like the map yeah. Strategy. Originally, what we had in mind was uh, to have several areas like this entire area here, you can see here, it's just one area, but we were originally planning to zoom it out some more, so you'll actually see a whole island with several different areas, and oh. each area would have a specific um, uh, purpose in the gameplay, like uh, one area would contain a flag okay. that you would need to capture or need to get uh, and bring it to another area. Okay. So, oh. uh, Actually, this build was actually something more to determine, like, uh, is the UI working? Do we get the feel of it being an action-heavy game? But the original build that we had was a lot bigger than this, and okay. in terms of scale. Yeah. So, yeah, right now we're just trying to fine-tune uh, every every little part of it. Yeah. Right now, this is only one-on-one, 1v1. On one, one so there's three characters versus three characters. Okay. Later on, we're planning to make it 5v5. Oh, that's awesome. So imagine 30 characters fighting. I'm trying. It's it's intimidating. That's great. Okay, so and it's, your your target is uh, three characters per uh, yeah three characters per player, or is, are you expanding that to? Uh, Just three characters. Characters, okay. So we want the feeling that you're like a basketball coach. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I can imagine having more than three would be, would be a daunting task to, to micromanage. Oh, this is great. Okay, so wh what is the what is the overall objective? Uh, we're talking about per battle uh, ways to win in terms of strategy, in terms of uh, objectives like capture the flag. Uh, in terms of the overall game, what is the point of uh, spell strike? Uh, is it like a is it a constant grind to level up? Is it a is there a story? T uh, tell us more about what, what the what the idea is in terms of getting. From, is there is are you finishing the game or is it just all just like uh, is it like in Warcraft where you have battleground after battleground? Um, the idea is to build your perfect squad and to build the perfect skills that go with your characters. And every time you fight a different player, the experience will be different and you'll, you'll realize that, oh, maybe I should make a different build. So, so it's, it's purely like, PvP. Uh, the game is purely PvP. We're planning to make a story, um, like a level base. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. But we're still deciding based on the feedback. Yeah. Uh, going through Green Light and Square Enix Collective, we saw that there were a lot of players in the community asking for more stories, more campaigns. So right now we're in the process of building that, you know, um, background for the hero, the levels for the hero to play. So we, we, we imagine it or visualize it as a, like, w when you pick up the game, you get to choose which hero, like which story do you want to uh, view. And um, the gameplay is like probably similar to Game of Thrones where uh, each character would probably have uh, a different perspective in the overall grander scheme of things. Wow! I love the ambition of your game. It's, <laughs> it's, it's refreshing to know that you know people aren't limiting themselves in terms of scope and in terms of story. I, it's, it's, re it's very refreshing. Okay, so is, is there anything else you want to tell us about uh, Spellstrike that, that we haven't uh, covered yet? 
Uh, we're planning a Kickstarter campaign soon. So okay. yeah, nice. we're putting the game on Kickstarter. Uh, we're, right now we're just compiling everything that we need. Uh, we're definitely gonna polish this build. We're definitely gonna improve. Like there's a lot. Right now there's uh, a lot of art assets that already been uh, improved in, uh, in our next iteration. And um, yeah, we just can't wait to, sh to share updates with everyone else. I can't wait to play. I can't uh, move over. I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. demanding. <laughs> yeah. So Diego, anything else you wanna you wanna ask them about? Because I, I am mesmerized by the gameplay. Is there like a resurrect spell? I, I've been looking at the dead player since a while ago. <laughs> but no, I'm good. I mean, uh, I've s there was a game I played way back when, uh, Dreamcast. Uh, it's kind of like this where. You, you command one character, but in the background, it, everyone seems like they're still doing something. It's an old game, Skies of Arcadia. I'm not sure if uh, it's the inspiration from that, but yeah, that's just one thing I wanted to point out now. That uh, I like seeing games where it's a turn, it could be turn based, it could have that RPG aspect, but at the same time, the characters that you're, that you're not, the characters that you're not clicking on, you're not controlling, look like they're still doing something, so it doesn't look too static. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much. Uh, where can the people at home find you guys? How can they learn more about Spellstrike and how can they get in touch with you? You can follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Spellstrike, and at Twitter, for, I add Spellstrike for Twitter, okay. and www.spellstrikegame.com. All right, great. Thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, I, I enjoyed watching you guys play and I enjoyed talking to you guys. Uh, Diego. Uh, take us away. All right. Thank, thank you guys. Thank you guys again for Spell Strike. All right. So we're wrapping it up here for Spell Strike, guys. Um, again, once again, my name is Diego Z, and for and for Harold Sylvester, Quit Stalling. You can check out our website, www.quitstalling.us. You can check out our game reviews, movie reviews, comic reviews, and any of the videos we like doing, especially our podcasts. Woo! Again, we'll be here. All we'll be here for the rest of the day and for the next two days here at Indie Arena ESGS 2016. Again, we'd like to thank one more, uh, XSplit and Wendy Manila for giving us opportunity to play a, a lot of games and introduce new indie developers to the gaming industry. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. See you guys.